The number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits fell for the seventh straight week. Latest numbers from the Labor Department show claims dropped by 1,000 to a pandemic low of 268,000. But many are still looking for work. And hip-hop superstar Jay-Z's company, Rock Nation, stepped in to help today. CBS 2's Andrea Klein-Thomas shows us how. 6,000 job seekers filled Madison Square Garden. My name is James. James Bailey was making his pitch, eager to land a role in sports and entertainment. Can't be scared. You got to put yourself out there. And in that way, when doors do open for the future, you're always ready. This was not your average job fair. Organized by Rock Nation, the company started by rap legend Jay Z and the Reform Alliance that advocates for the formerly incarcerated. Attendees could get free haircuts or makeup application. Along Along with resume and career assistance, all in an effort to put their best foot forward. A good economy is an inclusive economy. It's one where everyone is brought in uh, to do their part to work and contribute. And we need that in New York now more than ever before. Here, those with past criminal records were not disqualified. We see this as sort of like a magical mix of, uh, of wonder that's really going to address both the uh, labor shortage issues and, and that's going to revitalize New York City. We have about 150, close to 200 jobs available right now. There are hundreds of job openings at the NFL alone at various levels. This is employers across the country are struggling to fill vacancies, a near record 10.4 million openings in September alone. I wasn't sure what to expect, but once I started talking, and the people seemed a lot more hopeful. Rap icon Jadakiss provided added motivation. Keep your cap on. These young kids use cap in a different definition, but I like to say character, attitude, and personality. If you got all three of them things intact, you should be good today. Lieutenant Governor Brian Benjamin says this should be a model of organizing job fairs with wraparound services, especially targeting underserved communities. Outside of Madison Square Garden, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News.